All right, guys, today's video is going to be related to the thermal pad video I made a few days ago. These are 3080 Ti's. I had six. I took one out. The top three of my six were spiking in the 100s on the mem temps. And I said, what is going on? I went out and pulled the first one out. I did take it apart and replace the thermal pads and put thermal paste on. And I noticed when I took it out, I get this. Everything's running perfect without that one card. Look at that. Everything's not great, but not red. Uh, the mem temps are below 100. And they consistently stay there. Now and then, very rarely, you'll see later in the video, they'll hit, one will hit 100, and then, but it drops back down. And, but the hash stays the same. Uh, the only time the hash rate drops on these cards is when the T-Rex Miner adjusts the LHR tuning. And you'll see it drop from high 80s to 50, but come back up. This is the card I pulled out. I did change the thermal pads, and when I put it back in the original rig, it was 110. I totally screwed something up, right? It was way hot. I said, no, right, this is not good. Pulled it out, and uh, on the left, you saw the good temps again. This one, I pulled it out. I took it back apart. I applied a lot more thermal paste to the actual CPU part of the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA chip. I put a lot more. I gunked it on, and now I put it back in this uh, test rig, the CPU rig, I just slapped it on the motherboard, you'll see at the end. And I've been running that by itself solo using the old NVIDIA driver from October 2021. And the temperatures don't look bad. There you'll see 100. That, that's, a, that's rare. It's been in the 90s. So gone from 110 down to 90, high 90s is a lot better than what it was. So if you're having that issue, make sure you put a lot of thermal paste on don't just think it's a thermal pads and make sure the screws are all nice and set and tight. And then here you can see the, the driver I am using from October 2021. If I use the most recent NVIDIA driver, my hash rate on Ethereum is only like 85. When I use this driver on both, on both different uh, rigs here, right here you'll see it 10, whatever. Yeah, there's a 3080 Ti, oh, October, yeah, the October uh, version, I get high 80s, 90s mega hash on Ethereum. So it, the driver is affecting how well these things hash. And these are these are the awful HR cards, but I'm still getting 90, 87, 89, you'll see. But the point being, when I run this by itself, after putting taking it back apart the second time, gopping on more thermal paste, it seems to be better now. This one you'll see is a lot better too. There I got 100, which again, when you saw it before, I was a 105, 108 on those top three. So I'm now seeing on average 98s and the, the actual temps are good. The 76 there on the outside temp, that's because I'm messing with some fans. I know what that is. And near the end of the video, you'll see that temperature drop because I'll adjust the fan and the, the, the grow 10. I'm just, because I was pulling that card out, I moved, moved some crap around. So there you see the 52 mega hash on the bottom GPU. That's because T-Rex retuned the LHR mode or something like that. It was just retuning it and then it'll come right back up to 87. Uh, here we're back to the one that I replaced the thermal pads and we're hovering about what? I can't read that. Oh, it just scrolled by. Uh, 96 now, a lot better guys. When I saw 110, I think oh, I'm gonna fry this thing in a second. I said, all right, unplugged it, took it off the rack, popped it off. You get really damn good at stripping down a GPU when you have to, man. You know where the screws are, bum, bum, bum. Give a little twist to break the, the adhesion of the thermal pads, thing comes right apart. And then, man, it took me, the first time to put the pads in, took me an hour or so because I didn't know what I was doing. And when I just went and popped that thing out and put thermal paste on, boom, literally 10 minutes, I had it back and uh, ho hooked up to my CPU board, mining board, and uh, running by itself. Uh, what do we got going here? Let's see. We got the 90s looking good. Hash rates looking decent. And that's what I like to see. But it, I'm just wondering, those other two cards, which are red, I mean, they were consistently above 102 as well. Does one GPU screw up the other ones? I mean, it just seems like one bad GPU or one GPU that's causing problems may affect your other GPUs. And that's what it is looking like here. When I had that one I have separated now in there, those other two, the top two, would be, like I said, 102, 104, 106. Now you'll see rarely, like you saw, a red 100. But then, boom, it drops back down to yellow back down to the high 90s. And I'm like, I didn't know that. I didn't know one GPU could be the uh, little bastard child and screw up the other ones. But it's looking good now. I do have them separated because one's, a, one's, a, one's the, uh, one's the uh, little uh, 
redheaded stepchild, so I have to fix him, make him better, adjust his attitude, and I think he's happy now. And he's running on his own little rig, out in his own little sandbox, churning away some mega hash for for me, and I'm I'm appreciating there 87 again before I was getting 84, 85 with the latest Nvidia driver. So again, if you think you want to get more out of your 3080 Ti, maybe back back install an older driver and see which one works best for you. Oh, here, just looking again. The temps are good. Uh, what are we doing? I'm probably trying to adjust the tent while I'm recording here. I'm doing voiceover because the uh, fans with the grow tent and everything, just, it's, it's just too loud. And all you hear in the background is zzz, it's just annoying. So I thought I'd just record it and then do voiceover later. Anyway, this is good for people. Vets, you've probably seen this before. Newbies, this is good to see. This is T-Rex Miner. Uh, this is my uh, two miners pool I'm using, mining ETH, and I'm getting paid out in Bitcoin to my Bitcoin wallet. And you can see the mega hash on these. These are 3080 Ti LHR cards, heavy LHR. And uh, I'm getting 86. Sometimes you'll see it hit 90, but usually 86 to 90 is what you'll see. And uh, there I got some, what is that red? Uh, I'm trying to read this. No, that's good. Yeah, temps are looking a lot better. Just that one card was affecting the zero and one card you're looking at right now, making that thing red. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's something. It screwed up the software or confused it. Said, I don't know. I don't know. So the next test, guys, is to take this one right here, which is looking good right now. 87 and attempts are below 100 and then put that back with its family and turn it all back on and see if it runs like it is right there. There, I got a red. That's okay. It's only 100, man. I'm happy with that. And it's, again, that's a rare one. Before it was consistently red. If you look at my older video, you'll see that the mem temps are just like, whoa, what's going on here? But yeah, there you go. All right, here I'm going to show you the rig it's in and uh, put some light on it. This is the little bastard child 38Ti and that's not it. Here we go. I'll put some light on in a second. So he's going to go back into the grow tent with the other five 38 TIs. And hopefully everything looks good. Hopefully the mem temps stay good. You know, if it doesn't, I'm going to pull it back out and keep it out on that on that uh, CPU miner right there. All right, guys. Didn't know. I'm really thinking one, one problematic GPU can affect the other GPUs in your rig. And I just proved it. It's very odd to cause the other one's mem temps to spike up. Yeah, I'll figure it out. That's, that's the best I could do. I'm going to put it back together, put it back on the rig. All right, thanks for watching.